What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today we will continue with our Bhagavad Gita series and in that we will discuss about the Herculean, the most powerful, the most valorous Bhima. Bhima is the second of the five Pandavas. He is one of my favorite characters in the Mahabharat. So what is so great about this personality? Well, we read in the earlier verse that it's written about Bhima's conch shell. What is the name of the conch shell? It's Pondra. And Bhima is specifically known for his appetite. And that is why the word Vrikodaraha is mentioned. Because Bhima used to eat a lot and he used to do a lot of things. Sometimes some people say that you should not eat too much. You should eat less. Ayurveda says eat half or eat 70%. Well, th that is fine. But if you are doing great Herculean tasks, great work, great physical work, then you are allowed to eat how much ever you want because you will not gain fat or you, are, you will not feel dizzy because you are all the time working. So all the energy will be spent. But if you do not do work as per your appetite as per your food then there's the problem now Bhima was an exceptionally powerful warrior from the childhood itself when Duryodhana tried to give him poison when he was a young boy very young in his childhood then he went down after taking the poison he was thrown into the river and then he went down into the lower regions of the river and then there was the Nagaloka which was there and in the Nagaloka there were different snakes who came and started biting him but what happened is because Bhima was having poison in his body um, and by the way the poison was given by Duryodhan and his brothers because they wanted that Bhima should die because they knew if Bhima is dead then uh, we, we will have uh, probably no more challenge but unfortunately all of their attempts failed and fortunately he was alive and then what happened is Bhima went down there and the snakes started biting him but because he had poison in his body the snakes who came and bit him they also started getting affected by the poison and they started dying and because the snakes started biting him so the poison from his body was cleared the snakes took all the poison <laughs> and then he started becoming a normal person and then when he went there below to the lower regions of the Nagloka he saw that there were different people there and then everybody was alarmed and everybody was surprised that who is this person that have survived till here <laughs> And then what happened is um, there they saw a lot of people. There was a whole society out there. And then he was welcomed by the ruler of the Nagloka there. And then he saw that his mother Kunti, one of his grandfathers, were alive there. And his he was his Matamahi. Matamahi means the grandfather or the ancestor from the side of the mother. Maternal, grand, maternal grandfather or maternal ancestor and then he was extremely pleased to see that his grandson uh, from Kunti had been so powerful and then he said that I will give you special liquids now and then what happened is he gave uh, special liquids to Bhima that they were celestial heavenly liquids they were extremely powerful uh, those liquids Nobody could drink even one gallon full. And Bhima drank one, two, three, almost 20 gallons he drank. After drinking 20 gallons, then he felt that I want to sleep now. Because his body was not able to digest that. And then after he slept, he, get up, he got up. And then he felt a tremendous surge of power in his body. He felt like I can do anything. 
and even the normal the people who were living there the nagas they could only drink probably one gallon of that but when it came to bhima he drank <laughs> too many gallons <laughs> and they gave him unlimited power i don't know what's the quantifiable measure of bhima strength some say that he had the strength of 10000 elephants but anyways how does it matter because he was extremely powerful so what happened was <coughs> after that he came back strong stronger and he became the strongest <coughs> and then duryodhana was alarmed to know that what the hell is this we gave him poison he came out stronger and then later on also bhima always <coughs> protected all his brothers and especially his mother kunti because there was a time when there uh, was this conspiracy against them that they were called to a place called varnavrat where duryodhana tried to burn out all of them including their mother kunti all six of them at a stretch and then what happened is after they broke out from there and they dig the tunnel and from that they escaped from varnavrat then what happened was all the others were tired all the other four including kunti and then bhima said all five of you five means four brothers yudhishthir arjun nakul sahadev and kunti all five he said all five of you sit in my shoulder sit here and sit here i will take you and then he started going and he started running rushing against the forest and then ultimately he reached the other corner from which they were safe and in fact the funny part is that when draupadi was married to the five pandavas i will discuss draupadi's story some other time but when draupadi came uh, then kunti said to her that uh, i will teach you how to serve them properly <laughs> so what used to happen is whenever uh, the pandavas would uh, cook food i mean kunti used to prepare for them whatever food was prepared they will always divide the food into two parts <laughs> two parts not six parts two parts so what used to happen is one part the half of it will be given to bhima exclusive for him no no compromise on that so bhima had a insatiable appetite because he is uh, the son of vayu and vayu is the vayu has a counterpart the air which is there in the stomach and the fire uh, that is always burning in his stomach recklessly it's a relentless fire which is going on creating havoc in his stomach all the time 24 by 7 so then uh, kunti said that uh, we we will divide, we divide the food into two parts one part exclusively goes to bhima and then the remaining part we divide it into five parts four of them the four brothers will take one part each and the remaining i will take and now the rest of the food the half will be divided into six parts four for the brothers one for me and one for you but bhima's part is fixed there is no compromise on that and then there is also the instance that he killed all the 100 kauravas in the battlefield he was extremely powerful there is no comparison nobody could even uh, think of going near to him his 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 demeanor was so ferocious that people would faint when they would see him fighting in the war and especially the day when he killed dushasan i guess it was the 17th day or oh sorry it was the 16th day when dushasan was finished he was eliminated and 17th day karna was eliminated so in the 16th day when dushasan finally rested <laughs> his ultimate rest then the his demeanor was so it was so dangerous it was so horrifying that he had blood all over his body bhima was looking as if like he's a demon <laughs> 
and he he started growling howling and laughing and expressing his joy over the killing of dushasan who had tried to disrupt tropadi in the assembly which was there in hastinapur and then bhima's joy knew no bounds and he started dancing and the mahabharat explains that when bhima started doing all this it was appearing as if rudra lord shiva himself is dancing he is doing tandav there everything is going to be destroyed whoever comes near him is going to be smashed and that is why everybody was so fearful in fact it is mahabharat says karna saw his face and karna ran away from there because karna thought that my god what has happened now? maybe some ghost has overpowered this person <laughs> and then what happened he ultimately killed duryodhana also <coughs> and he was a extremely powerful warrior so his power his glory his name fame is beyond this earthly realm <coughs> even the demigods in the heavens they could not fight with him because in mahabharat there is instance when there is the story of draupadi asking bhima that i want uh, when they were in the forest when they got uh, the sentence to go to the forest for 12 years then one day draupadi told to bhima that i want that blue lotus there was a blue lotus which <coughs> was <coughs> coming from the higher celestial regions of the yakshas where kuber resides kuber is one of the four dikpalas <coughs> then what happened is bima said okay i will get that for you <coughs> and then whenever the moment bima went there he was told by a heavenly voice that my dear please get out of here this is the region of the celestials this is the region of the yakshas kubera please do not enter this place and then bhima said no dwapadi has told me get this so i will get it and then what happened is the yaksha started fighting with him and then one by one everybody started fighting and then kubera's uh, what do you say right hand his most trusted general his name was maniman so maniman came to fight with all his heart and soul and strength and he hurled his mace which is the gada towards bhima and that touched his chest and effortlessly bhima got up nothing would perish this person nobody could even shake him he was so 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 powerful and then he had a fight with maniman and then maniman was perished he died he he effortlessly killed maniman actually and then kubera got this news and then yudhishthir maharaj came and then the matter was settled but the glory of bhima is far beyond me to explain and he is actually <laughs> the son of vayu and therefore hanuman ji from ramayan who we all know Hanuman does not need any introduction so Hanuman ji is his brother actually and one day Hanuman ji uh, met with Bhima and Bhima requested Hanuman ji that you are on the side of Lord Ram in the wall of Ramayana in the wall of Lanka and that is why everybody Lord Ram was victorious because you were the one who did the maximum damage Bhima said to Hanuman that you were the one who burned the entire Lanka, swarn Lanka, jala diya apne, <laughs> and then you were the one who brought the Drona Giri Parvat, the mountain from the Himalayas to cure Lakshmana, when Indrajit had hurled a speci- specific uh, uh, celestial divine weapon which he had obtained from the gods towards Lakshmana, and Lakshmana almost perished, but all thanks to hanuman he brought the dronagiri mountain and from there they got the sanjivani buti the herbs by which lakshman was treated so bhima requests hanuman ji that just like you were on the side of lord ram 
in this battle of kurukshetra we will also need you we will need your help so please be on our side because if you are there victory is rest assured and then what hanuman ji said okay because you are my brother because hanuman ji is also the son of vayu and bhima is also the son of vayu so that way you can say both of them are brothers because they have the same father and then <coughs> bhima requested him that please help us be with us and then hanuman ji said yes i will always be there with you on your side how will i be there i will be there in arjuna's chariot so whenever you see arjuna's chariot you see a red color flag and in that i will be personally present all my blessings all my power will be there i will try my best to help you and to bring victory to you so hanuman ji also was there on the side of the pandavas so by that their victory was almost assured because krishna and hanuman were on the side of the pandavas and bhima's glory his greatness his power his ability to fathom things is beyond my capacity to explain and there were so many other instances when bhima proved time and again that nobody nobody when i say nobody it means simply nobody could challenge him and coming to duryodhana's fight with him duryodhana was extremely powerful but bhima was much more powerful than him duryodhana had more skills and bhima had more strength and ultimately duryodhana also perished even though he had blessings of gandhari therefore we have to understand wherever bhima is there that is victory for us and that is why the pandavas obtained victory including krishna arjuna and yudhishthir nakul sahadev and they were victorious at the end and bhima's son was ghatotkach he was also no less he was also a formidable warrior he could also destroy anybody and he did a complete destruction of the army he wrecked havoc in the korava forces and that compelled karna to use the divine weapon which indra had given him the shakti astra which he wanted to use on arjuna so ghatotkach was the son of bhima and hidimbi hidimbi was a demon actually she was a rakshasi and bhima had married her after killing her brother whose name was hidim as we had discussed in the earlier uh, cha- earlier verses of this chapter so there you go bhima extremely powerful mind blowing to good nobody could challenge him that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share this video with others until next time see you Good luck. Bye-bye.